Namaskaram. There is no excuse for a dancer not to look presentable on stage with great makeup or brilliant dress sense. While that perfection is achieved after few performances, I would like to encourage even the first time stage performers to also give the best in looking presentable on stage. I have also mentioned in the other videos that dance, makeup, dress sense are all not different things but just a part of dancing. This video is specially created for the young dancers to encourage them to develop their comfort zone to dance along with makeup accessories and the special Bharatanatyam costume. This video is aimed at parents with very young kids performing Bharatanatyam on stage for the first time and that the parents are totally clueless about how to get the little ones ready for stage. The simple makeup and hairdo in the video is done with very few products. In fact, I would say half of the products of the actual makeup and hairdo. This can be called as a first timers makeup, especially for the young kids of ages less than eight or nine. Items required for simple kids makeup, foundation, loose powder, blush, kajal, eyeliner, lipstick, eyebrow pencil. The child has already washed her face and the skin is well moisturized. So we shall now start the makeup with foundation. You may use liquid foundation or stick foundation or even a pancake. We are using a liquid foundation here with just bare fingers. All you have to do is just take few drops of the foundation on your clean hands and apply them throughout the face and gently tap it all over the face. You may use a foundation brush or a sponge instead of fingers to get the foundation to spread evenly. We are just trying to keep it as simple as possible here and hence the bare fingers. The second step is to apply loose powder all over the face with a simple puff or powder brush. You can use any loose powder or even just a baby powder will help. Applying powder on top of the foundation is a mandatory step to blend the foundation so the skin looks even and also to hold the makeup intact for a longer time. Always remember to apply the foundation and the powder on the neck as well so that the face makeup doesn't look odd. Next, we are going to move on to the eye makeup. You may use an eyeshadow or just use the lipstick instead of eyeshadow. Take some lipstick on your finger and gently apply it on the eyelids. Apply it evenly all over the eyelids so that it looks like a nice eyeshadow. So for the eye makeup, after applying eyeshadow, next step is to apply eyeliner. You may use a liquid eyeliner or gel eyeliner or a pen eyeliner. We are using a pen eyeliner here mainly because it is easier to hold and does not mess up with the eyes and hands. Make sure to extend the lines in the corner of the eyes. Make the lines very thick because for Bharatanatyam performances, eyeliner and kajal are the most important part of the makeup because it shows the eyes big and beautiful. The last step of the eye makeup is to apply kajal. The kajal is to be drawn under the eyes. That is, you don't have to draw it very close to the eyes on the bottom eyelids for kids but instead you can just draw it under the bottom eyelids. You may additionally use a mascara or just skip it for young kids. 
Now the eye makeup is done and the next step is to darken the eyebrows. We are using eyebrow powder here but you can just use a regular eyebrow pencil instead. I'm using eyebrow powder here mainly because of two reasons. One is it gives a natural look unlike the dark lines drawn with the eyebrow pencil. And the other reason is because I couldn't find an eyebrow pencil while we started recording this video. Then the next step is to apply blush on the cheekbones. This is my favorite part of the makeup because I feel the blush makes anyone look so cute, especially the kids. You may use a blush or you can just take some lipstick on a sponge and dab it on the cheekbones and then dab some powder on top of it. It will give a similar look just like a blush. The last step of the makeup is to apply some bright red lipstick. I'm using a lipstick brush here just to define the lips but you may just go ahead and use the lipstick directly instead of the brush. You can additionally use highlighters, glitters, contours and any other makeup stuff that you have. Finally, finish it with a Tilak Bindi and now the face makeup is complete. For Bharatanatyam students, Tilak Bindi is always used instead of round one because it well defines the face and it's also visible for the audience from a distance. Items required for simple kids had to hair ties, bun net, hair pins, flowers and black strings. Always remember to wear the chains before doing the hair. It is especially important because once you do the hair you may not want to disturb it by wearing the chain that goes through the hair bun. Just start with a regular ponytail by pulling up all the hair to the back. You may part the hair in front if you wish to. In fact, parting the hair at front looks more beautiful than tying it all together. However, just a simple one is shown here. Make sure the ponytail is tightly tied and if the hair is slightly long, you can just fold the ponytail using another hair tie or just use a bun net like this and secure it with a hair tie so that the small hairs wouldn't come out. Be generous in using bun pins and hair pins wherever required. And finally, surround the bun with flowers. We are using cloth flowers here so that it looks fluffy and fresh throughout the performance and can also be visible from the front. The hair is done, makeup is done, now you can wear the costume and start accessorizing with the Bharatanatyam jewelry set. Here we are just going to show you how to use the hair accessories. First, wear the neti chuti or the forehead jewelry by placing it at the center of the forehead and pull the strings back to tie it underneath the bun. And the center of the neti chuti is to be secured with hair pins. Next step is to wear the sun and moon, Chandran Suryan. First, take a black string and tie the sun and moon accessories to it, just like this.
Sun is to be on the right side and the moon on left. Then pull the strings back to tie it underneath the bun. Now the hair is all set, you may use a hairspray to set it all in style. Now you can get ready by wearing the costume and the remaining accessories. Applying ultra or red marker should be the last step just before stepping out. But for young kids however, applying mehendi the previous night will help save some red marker stains on the costume. I hope this video benefits the parents of young Bharatanatyam dancers and in case if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do subscribe so that you will be notified of the other Bharatanatyam videos that I upload very often. Namaskaram.